Now, the EU's highest court has ruled that Catalan separatist movement leader Oriol Junqueras is entitled to immunity because of his status as an elected MEP. He was jailed, of course, over his role in the controversial 2017 Catalan independence referendum. Meg McMahon has more. Oriol Junqueras, the former vice president of Catalonia, became a member of the European Parliament as soon as he was elected. So says the EU's top court in Luxembourg. That means he enjoyed parliamentary immunity from that moment on, even if he was in pre-trial detention. The president of the European Parliament, David Sassoli, had one clear message for Spain. I call upon the competent Spanish authorities to urge them to comply with the ruling. Oriol Junqueras' political party called for his immediate release. Yo creo que hoy el Tribunal de Justicia de la Unión Europea ha sido muy claro y muy contundente. Creo que es muy claro en que Oriol Junqueras ha de ser puesto en libertad y que coja la credencial de eurodiputado. But this is not a given. The ruling refers to the past when Oriol Junqueras was in pre-trial detention. He's since been condemned to 13 years behind bars, so it could be too late. Señor Junqueras, buenos días. ¿Cómo está usted? It will be up to Madrid to decide. The ball is now in the field of the Spanish authorities. Um, the court clearly said that after the uh, elections, the Spanish authorities would have had to uh, apply for leave from the European Parliament. It is not clear at this uh, at this moment whether this uh, still applies or whether it would still make any sense uh, to do this retroactively now. Carlos Puigdemont, the former president of Catalonia, is thrilled. His supporters want him to come back home. He also took to Twitter to say, see you soon at the European Parliament. The ruling could be his get out of jail card for not just him, but other Catalan politicians too, that fled to Belgium, but were also elected members of the European Parliament in May 2019. Well, for more on that, this ruling, we can speak to Maeve, who joins us now live from Brussels. Uh, Maeve, uh, what happens next? Would this ruling mean perhaps that the uh, former Catalan president, Carlos Puigdemont, uh, who's living in self-imposed exile, what consequence will this have for him? Well, Tokes, the story now very much moves to Madrid. All eyes, of course, on the Spanish authorities to see how they react. They have five days to do so, but many think they might try and kick the can a little bit down the road. Because firstly, on the fate of Oriel Junqueras, it's just not quite clear because he was already tried and convicted and his 13-year sentence is very much underway. So it's not a given that he'll be able to get out of jail and walk straight in to the European Parliament. It could, however, be a very different story for Carlos Puigdemont, the former president of Catalonia, and Tony Comín. Both of them will appear in court here on the 3rd of February. Spain, as you know, wants them urgently extradited to Spain in order to be tried there. But if the Belgian authorities do realise that, in fact, they can also enjoy immunity, it could mean that that European arrest warrant can simply be put in the dustbin and they would be ha perhaps be able to go to the European Parliament. A decision, of course, that the European Parliament finally and its legal committee would have to take. But for the moment, as you can see, Carlos Puigdemont is in celebratory mode. You saw there in that report images of him this morning in his temporary home just outside Brussels here in Waterloo, holding a video conference with his entourage over in Catalonia, say, saying as well loud and clearly on Twitter, see you very soon in the European Parliament. Meg McMahon there with reaction from Brussels to this ruling from the European Court of Justice. Thank you. Well, earlier I spoke with Alfred Bosk, a foreign affairs minister of the Catalonian government, and he told me that the ruling leaves little room for interpretation. Uh, the court was very clear that uh, uh, who should decide on their representatives in Europe are citizens. So, yes, it empowers citizens, which is basic. And it says uh, these people were elected and they should have enjoyed immunity. So that gives us powerful reasons to hope that uh, human rights and uh, democracy are respected in Europe. So we see that as support from a very important European institution as the Court of Justice.
Okay. Well, you've also had support in a way from the head of the European Parliament, David Sassoli, who earlier said it's now up to Spanish authorities. But on a wider sense, are you not disappointed or angry even that other EU leaders haven't come up in support of your cause? Well, look, uh, the European Court of Justice is a European institution, and it stated the case, its case very clearly. So now we can say, yes, European institutions are um, saying that we are right in our demands. We have said that this was not right, that this was wrong for a long time, and, and now we're proved right. And this also opens the way for other MEPs who were elected, like Mr. Puigdemont, uh, the former president of Catalonia, and another minister like uh, Mr. Comin, who uh, might follow course. Uh, this is really uh, very hopeful for us. We think uh, now it's going the right way. And uh, we'll see what the Spanish authorities say, what the Spanish courts might say, but uh, they have a problem. They have a problem because decisions by the European Court of Justice are binding. And uh, the president of the European Parliament, Mr. Sassoli, has also been very clear. Um, these people have the right to uh, take their seats as MEPs, whether they're in favor of independence of Catalonia or not. Regardless of their ideas, they were elected, so democracy is paramount. Briefly, what would you like to see happen next? Well, we would like uh, the powers of the state and the government of Spain to accept that uh, the only way out to this political conflict, instead of sending people to jail, to exile, cracking down with police brutality, the only solution is democracy. So whatever the polls say uh, should be respected. And whatever collective decisions should be taken about Catalonia should be taken through the polls and that 100% of citizens can be able to participate and take part in this momentous decision. Our